Hey everyone, so today is one week since I made my day one video starting over with Weight Watchers and today is the end of the first week. I start my second week tomorrow and um, <clears throat> I just want to share that I started off my journey. I said it was around 215 but I weighed myself and it was 217 so my highest I got to this time was 217 and I'm now at 214.2 so I lost almost three pounds which I'm really proud of um, this week was a little tough but the last four days I've been tracking and doing more exercising cleaning around the house so I know that I'm getting myself back in that habit and next week will be really good um, or this week this coming up week um, this is going to be a short video because, you know, I don't really have much to say. I did a little bit of walking. Um, <clears throat> I tracked most everything. The first portion of the week, I didn't track everything. But the last, like I said, the last four days of the, this week, I did. So, it wasn't perfect, but it was much better than the last several months that I gained all my weight back that I lost. Um, and I'm trying not to let it get me down or beat me up or feel shameful. I mean, yes, it does suck. The fact that all my bigger clothes, when I got to 151 in January of last year, I threw all of it away because I was like, I don't want to get back into that. So I have all these like size nine, eight, seven and medium shirts that do not fit me right now. Hi kitty that do not fit me right now and I have nothing that fits me other than a couple of like spandex pants spandex pants I can't speak and some of my husband's shirts like Pink Floyd yo yo um so I don't know if I should go out and buy clothes that fit me now or just give myself a few months to start losing and being able to fit in some of my clothes again um, but it's also hard because like my husband we, we usually go to church every Sunday and I'm on the worship team and it's a very important part of my spiritual walk that I've been slacking in but mostly because I don't want to leave the house in a man's shirt and spandex every time so I feel like I do need to just go out and buy a couple of shirts, a couple of pair of pants that actually fit me now. Um, anyway, I didn't throw them away. I gave them away to our church, but man. Anyway, just wanted to share. It was a much better week than the last several months. <laughs> so um, I'll be back. I'm going to start making my videos on Mondays now. Today's Sunday, uh, March 20. What day is it? Uh, March 24th. So I'm going to start making my videos on Mondays from now on because it just makes sense for me. I did that the last time. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I've had a lot of amazing people write incredible things to me and also people that followed me through my journey back in 2000 or 20,000, 2021 through 2023, the beginning. Um, so I, I really appreciate that, but you all have a great day and I'm going to keep doing better and, um, share what you're, how you're, how you're doing. If you want, share it in the comments and any uh, tips or advice you want to give me. All right. Bye. At the end of my, um, week one explanation of how everything went, I'm going to share a four minute video of when my husband came in, he saw I was just kind of going through it and he kind of motivated me and that he does that so I want to share that with you all he didn't even know I was recording until like a minute and a half into it but anyway I want to share because maybe one person out there can get some good advice from him because he's amazing all right bye. what you have to stop living your life for the adrenaline the, the, the high of it yeah because you're always stretching for well if I know that we're doing this I'm good if I know that I'm gonna lose three pounds I'm okay the fact that I stayed the same, even though I'm on my goal weight, it's not okay because there's no high in that. Right. That's why 
the alcohol started taking over. Well, there's a high in alcohol. Yeah. But the but the unfortunate low. I replaced it, it with the alcohol because I make bad decisions. <laughs> alcohol, like any other drug, I make a bad decision when I'm on alcohol, and usually it's not another drug. Thankfully, but it's a food. It's a it's an extra biscuit. It's an extra helping. It's a uh, I ate one of my Weight Watchers meals, but then I ate dinner afterwards. Yeah, no exercising. So, and it's it's just <laughs> you live your life for that high, and you have to you have to figure out how do I live life level and be okay with level. Yeah. Because level's okay. You know. I just gotta learn to be comfortable. I gotta learn to be comfortable with. What the heck? I'm videotaping you. <laughs> oh, I thought I was just recording. Whatever. No, it's okay. But I wanted to share that because I know that you have been a big part of my journey. And I'm sharing this video on Weight Watchers, not, I mean, maybe YouTube. But you're a big part of it. You helped me make my foods that I wanted, the chicken with the taco seasoning and the peppers and onions. And it was fabulous. And I'd roll it up in a light carb tortilla. And that was a big thing I lived off of. Mm -hmm. And then you'd make me soup, chicken soup with vegetables. Yep. That was zero points. Mm -hmm. And then you'd also make me, um, what's the other thing? Chili. Mm -hmm. the, the, where you can be right now, though, and you can be thankful for it is, okay, so now you're, you've gained some weight. Yeah, some. You can live lots. for the high of, I'm going to get back to that goal. Weight. Yes. So now you're on that high, but between here and weight loss, you have to figure out, when I get there, how do I live level? Right. How does level be okay for me? And that yeah. might be replaced by, well, I went and I served at my church one yeah. day a week. Or I went and I got a job, but I only worked four or five hours a week. And I'm starting my life in, with or, or my husband and I took all of our McDonald's money, $500 a month, and... Put it towards a trip, and now we're going to go stay in a hotel instead of McDonald's food all day long. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you can have your highs and lows as long as you're not always living for the high, right? Because some weeks there's not going to be a high. I just love to be able to do this with you. Well, we are okay, and I'll do it with you for the this rest has of been our lives. The one week, and this is a full week that I've done it, and I have not done it perfect. We had that Mexican food, mm -hmm. and I have no idea how many points that was. 100 million. But it was so delicious. It was good. <laughs> and we but enjoyed each other's company. That's okay on a week when you've lost three or four pounds. Yeah. You reward yourself. Yep. And then you start back over. But so, you track it. We'll figure yes. out how to track yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Um, I think the biggest thing is us doing that, it needs to be a reward system. This has been my right. first week, so I shouldn't have went there. Right. But I don't regret it because it was the first time we've gotten out well, because I've been so isolated and depressed and not doing anything with you. Now that I know that you're seriously on Weight Watchers again, that won't be a, a that won't be offered. Yeah. Until you, it is a reward. Story. Yeah. From from you know, when I tell you, I yeah. No, you're okay. Yeah, because I've been saying I'm gonna go back. I'm a, right. I'm gonna go back on, and I never do because mm -hmm. the drinking takes over. Yep. And I'm in a group on Weight Watchers that helps you. It's called WW Dry, and it says it that they use the abbreviation. I will not drink with you today. So if you go somewhere and they're, I will not drink with you today. That's awesome. And I had so much love that came in for that. So I'm gonna. Definitely take a part of this and share that with that community. Absolutely. But um, anyway, I love you, honey. I love you too. And guess what? I will not drink with you today. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm.